Hey guys, welcome back to All and in Law. This is a medical video lecture. OBGYN. Guys, our medical video lectures are dedicated for uh, dedicated to medical students for uh, USMLA appearing students or any other medical board examination. Okay, guys. So today I'm gonna talk about the differences between placenta previa and abruptio placentae abruptio placentae so let's talk about this the differences are really very important because these two diseases so much they confuse us and we wrong up in a wrong diagnosis Okay, we'll end up in a wrong diagnosis. So let's talk about this. First of all, we're going to talk about the clinical features. Okay. The clinical feature is that the nature of the bleeding. What's the nature of the bleeding? Nature of bleeding. In case of placenta previa, Remember, it's a painless. This is a really very important differentiating point. It's a painless. And most of the time, it's causeless and it's recurrent. Okay. Whereas in abruptio placentae, it's a painful. It's a painful and sometimes and most of the times the cause for this bleeding or, or abrasive placenta is preeclampsia trauma okay preeclampsia so you can know the cause preeclampsia trauma and it's a continuous okay in a placenta previa the bleeding is always seen or revealed bleeding is revealed okay whereas in abruptio placentae it can be revealed all the time or concealed or sometimes mixed okay now let's talk about the characteristics okay let me write over here is a placenta previa PP and AP. Okay. If you examine the blood, in case of a placenta previa, it's going to be bright red. Bright red, whereas it's in a dark red. So these are the minor differences. And the clinical features correlates with what you call the amount of bleeding, okay, proportionate to visible blood loss. Whereas in abruptio placentae, it's out of proportionate to the visible blood loss in case of concealed or a mixed variety. Because why? If the patient is bleeding, but it's not coming out of the vagina and it's inside the body, inside the uterus only, okay, means we think that there is no bleeding, but she is deteriorating. Okay? Right. Now, on examination, abdominal examination, on abdominal examination, the height of the uterus, the height of the uterus is a proportionate to the height in case of placenta previa, is a proportionate. Whereas in case of abruptio placentae, it's only one third of the patients can have this height. Only one third of the patient. When you feel the uterus, it's usually soft and relaxed in a placenta previa. Okay, in abruptio placenta, it's a tender. It's a tender. It's a tense. And it's a rigid. 
okay? If you ask about the mal presentation, it's really very common in placenta previa. Mal presentation is very common, very common in placenta previa. Whereas in apropia placenta, it's unrelated because sometimes head can be engaged. If you hear the fetal heart sounds, the fetal heart sounds, they are usually present here in the case of placenta previa. Whereas in abruptio placenta, it's usually absent in case of concealed type. It can be present in other types of bleeding, but it's absent in case of concealed breathing. Uh, sorry, concealed type of uh, abruptio placenta. When you take a placentography, placentography, placenta is in the lower segment. What's the location of the placenta in a placenta previa? It's in the lower segment. Whereas in abruptio placenta is in the upper segment. On vaginal examination, placenta is felt on the lower segment. And in case of abruptio placenta, placenta is not felt on the lower segment. Blood clots should not be confused with what you call placenta sometimes. Okay guys? So these are really very important points that will help you to differentiate placenta previa from abruptio placenta. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.